Hey everybody, and today we're going to be looking at Cloud Garden, a very relaxing puzzle game about using plants to overgrow abandoned wasteland dioramas. And before we jump into the rest, if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead to find new indie games you may have missed. Cloud Garden, in essence, is a puzzle game. With each new diorama, you have to overgrow with plants to a set limit before you can move on to the next level. Some of these levels have you unlocking new building structures like cars, antenna towers, shopping carts, and many more, while also unlocking new seeds like vines, bushes, moss, and others. You can use these building structures to help the seeds grow in the environment, and the seeds, once big enough, will produce flowers or fruits, and with enough flowers and fruits, you can gain another seed to cover the diorama. It's not an overly complicated game, but it's extremely relaxing. Something after a hard day, and you want to make something beautiful with limited effort. And for that, you have the sandbox mode. With every unlock you gain, you can put your artistic abilities to its full potential, creating many different scenes, rooftops, urban alleyways, junkyards. It's up to you to decide. And when you feel like that your masterpiece is complete, the game comes with a photo mode for you. Now, there are some criticisms I have with the sandbox and photo mode. The sandbox works great, but when it comes down to deleting some of the buildings you put down, you cannot select any of them to delete, you have to hit the undo button to remove buildings. But this can be bothersome when you lay everything down and notice the first thing you lay down is wrong, and you basically have to start all over. Then the photo mode is very limited, not many options to clear up the image, so it's very hazy like the game is. but. These are not deal breakers. For $8, it's a nice game, and a lot of wonderful dioramas can be made by a community of creative artists. So, if you guys want to make an Urban Decay diorama, the link to the Steam page is going to be in the description. And if you liked the video, leave a like, let me know if I'm doing something right, guys. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And like always, guys, I'll see you in the next video, and have fun.